Hello and welcome to Library Connection. I'm um, Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. Before we get started, I want to thank TV47 for allowing us this time to let the community know about activities going on and things related to the library and in our community. Today I'm very excited. Jennifer Edwards has joined <laughs> me all the way from Madison, Alabama, mm -hmm. near Huntsville, Alabama. We're going to talk about the Miss Sylacauga competition. Yes. It's not the pageant <laughs> anymore. That's great. Uh, the, the connection to the library to me is this is Sylacauga history. The pageant mm -hmm. has been around I don't know, 80 years mm -hmm. or so. We are the longest running um, Miss America, Miss Alabama preliminary in the oh. state of Alabama. We Our first competition was in 1937. So we are so excited oh. that we have um, the opportunity to continue that legacy. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. Now, I've already said you've come from near Huntsville. Mm -hmm. How are you involved with the pageant? So, uh, my family, Dick uh -huh. and Charlene Edwards yes. are my parents. Um, we moved to the Sylacauga area mm -hmm. uh, when I was 11 years old. Okay. So, um, of course, Miss Sylacauga was everywhere and everyone wanted to be Miss Sylacauga. Right. So, I started in, um, at the time, the pageant in the Miss Subdeb, and went through the the whole oh, Miss Ingenue, <laughs> Miss exactly. Mm -hmm. um, as a participant mm -hmm. um, here locally. I, I did not place; I never won a title, uh -huh. but I learned so much from the experience, uh -huh. and it has gotten me to where I am in life, and given me such confidence uh -huh. um, that I felt it very important when I was speaking with uh, Kim Todd, yes. who is the executive director. <clears throat> Um, I said, you know, Sylacauga is my hometown. I grew right. up from age 11 till graduating Sylacauga High School in 96. Uh -huh. um, that's where, that's what I consider my hometown. Oh, wow. So that's, that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's great, that's great. And Kim Todd couldn't be here with us. Kim Parker Todd is a mm -hmm. former Miss Sylacauga. Right. And I know y'all were, for, you said she helped choreograph when you were uh, in, in the pageant. She sure did, yeah. back in the Jane Vaughn days. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, so. great. Well, I know last year was the first year we had not had a, a Miss Sylacauga uh, mm -hmm. and just lack of participation. Girls not uh, wanting, or, and that's, you know, it kind of goes in cycles, I think. Sometimes right. you have a lot of girls, sometimes not. But I'm so grateful that you and Kim have put this back together. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know a lot of hard work has gone into yeah, this. Yes, a lot of hard work. A lot of, um, a lot of the public they don't see what goes wow. on behind the scenes. We just getting the volunteers, mm -hmm. um, securing scholarships, securing mm -hmm. um, any kind of cash scholarship or in-kind scholarship. Right. Um, that that takes a lot of man hours mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who are willing to go out and ask for those scholarships. Right. So right. um, a lot of work absolutely goes into it. Right. So Kim is the executive director. You're the Co I'm the co-director, co yes. Right. Kim came to me. Um, she knew that I was upset that Miss Lacaga yes. did not happen last year. Um, and so she came to me and said, hey, there's a group of us. Most, uh -huh. of, us, most of them were for, former Miss Silicagas yes. who um, were also upset and they wanted, we wanted to make sure that that legacy yes. um, stayed alive. So I was supposed to be the PR and marketing <laughs> coordinator, and somehow after a six-hour meeting, I became co-director. So. Oh, well, well, I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad. That's great. And I know you and Kim and a lot of other volunteers have yes. put a lot of work into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. When is the competition? The competition this year is uh, it's on November 23rd. That okay. is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Good. Good. So that was chosen um, to hopefully secure that exact weekend, mm -hmm. if it works out well this year, yes. um, to continue it just like we used to have it in February right. every year. Right. So um, the thought and hope was that um, young women would be coming home from college yes, and yes. it might be a convenient time for them to be here. So that's, right. that's why that date was chosen. Now I know back when you were competing there was Miss Subdeb, that was ninth grade, mm -hmm. um, ninth, ninth or tenth, tenth grade, but Miss Ingenue, right, that was eleventh grade, and then Miss Silicaga mm -hmm. was seniors in high school through twenty four. Twenty four. That's correct. That's great. So you can be in college. Oh, absolutely, right. absolutely, yeah. even uh, out of college. <laughs> oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and scholarship money for whatever mm -hmm. for school or for whatever. Exactly. It's for. Continuing education. You know, if they wanted to go for their master's degree. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I can vouch for the scholarships. My daughter, Mary Kelly, was, and I learned this, you're not, you're not, it's not, you don't say you were a Miss Silicaga. You are Miss Silicaga. Right. She is Miss Silicaga <laughs> 2015. I learned that from Miss Carolyn Goza, oh, who is fantastic. Miss Silicaga. I forgot the year, but uh, <laughs> you are, I, she is Miss Silicaga 2015, and the scholarship money was wonderful. It helped to 
pay for her junior year between her scholarship and, and the, the scholarship money from this mm -hmm. pageant and from the Miss Alabama pageant, it is well worth uh, all that that all that you spend to get there. Absolutely, and it's not it's not just for the title holder. Mm -hmm. um, it's for not only Miss Lokaga, it's also for the first runner up. Yes. Um, it's also some of them are for the participants. You have the Maxi VZ scholarship, yes. which is greatly supported here in, in the Sylacauga area. Mm -hmm. um, but also some of our uh, universities and colleges that understand the importance of the of the organization mm -hmm. are willing to give participant scholarships. Usually they will do, um, they'll put some kind of parameters around that. Right, so if, right. Scores or, or GPA, things GPA, like that. GPA, that kind yeah. of thing. But, you know, just the fact that the young women are um, going to yes. get that, that Putting, going yeah. to put themselves out there and try yes. to obtain the scholarships, yes. they want to reward that. So. That's great. That's great. <laughs> um, I know, and a lot of people in the community, I know we were benefits of, of vocal scholarships. There right. are dance scholarships. That's just like money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Those are called in-kind scholarships, right. and we have some fantastic sponsors all over the Silicaga, Talladega County area, yeah. actually, who are happy to do that. Um, we're very lucky in that. And, and to see those sponsors, please visit our Facebook page um, yeah. or the website is MissSilicaga.com. MissSilicaga.com. Mm -hmm. Lots of information on there. Yes. And I know we talked about it's changed. It's not the Miss Silicaga pageant, but it's just a word. I mean, some of it is just wordy. It's now the Miss Silicaga Competition. 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 That's great. <laughs> and this is the Miss Silicaga Competition 2020. Correct. Because this, the girl that wins Miss Silicaga will compete in the Miss Silicaga pageant. And there's Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Team. Correct. Great. That is something, something new. Mm -hmm. um, I guess relatively new. Relatively uh, new. It yeah. was um, in the uh, between 2000 and 2010, I think it was Wrong. established yeah. in 2005. Mm -hmm. So our Miss Subdeb and Miss Ingenue um, groups did turn into the Miss Silicaga's outstanding yeah, team. It's a mouthful, isn't it? It's hard to <laughs> it say. It is. Yeah, it is right. a, a mouthful. Um, but we are excited to have that long running, um, mm -hmm. able to have younger women participating. Um, yeah. And then throughout the country, there are other young women, so that, that yes. instead of sub dub, sub dub, sub -dub yes. and ingenue, um, just becoming that and that's it, they can then move forward as Miss. Um, Silicaga's outstanding team to Miss Alabama's outstanding team. Yes, and then on to Miss America's, and Miss America's outstanding out team. Exactly. That's wonderful. Pa the the team pageant, the state pageant used to be in Silicaga, but I right. believe it's grown so much mm -hmm. it's somewhere else. And, yes. and uh, sorry, Mary Kelly competed in that too. Great <laughs> experience. Yes. Uh, scholarships there. Uh, just a wonderful experience. All the t all of them were right. just to, to get to know girls and um, and to better yourself. Or exactly. Better, learn to I don't know. Learn, learn poise, learn to speak in front of a group. Exactly, and um, one of the uh, scholarships that I earned in, in doing the right. pageant circuit was interview. Um, and if I had not competed in mm -hmm. these different open pageants and closed right. pageants, they were page pageants yeah, at the time, at the time um, yeah. I would not have had the growth in mm -hmm. knowing how to speak in front of people who are judging me. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> um, and yeah. that has definitely helped me in my career. Um, I started out in retail from the time I started at Magnolia's. Oh, <laughs> wrapping gosh, yes. yes. <laughs> um, until through the time that I had um, my sons, I was in mm -hmm. retail. And then five years later, I got into real estate. Um, wow. So I have not only been through a lot of interviews, yes. but I have interviewed a lot of people. Oh. So knowing how to, um, ask the questions yes. that get the information that you need. That that was one of the things that I learned Goodness. through the pageant circuit as well. I never thought of it, mm -hmm. flipping it like mm -hmm. that. Exactly. Being the interviewer, that is great. Right. Well, we're gonna pause for a commercial break and we'll come right back and talk some more with Jennifer. Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Hawks Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Hawks Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Hawks Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, 
is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Hello and welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Jennifer Edwards, a former Sylacauga resident, girl that grew up here, and we're talking about the Miss Sylacauga competition. I'm going to have to work really hard to not say pageant, but I know you said it's it's just changed. It's not just Miss Sylacauga, it's the Miss America or organization. Absolutely. The Miss America organization has kind of taken a second look okay. at um, what they want to be when they took away the swimsuit competition. Yeah. They kind of decided to change a lot about the competition. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a pageant, it is a competition. Right. They are no no longer girls or young women, they are candidates. Okay. Um, okay. If you are interested to go to the Miss America website, yes. it now says Miss America 2.0 and it has a um, beautiful ball gown with Converse sneakers on. Okay. <laughs> so they they see yes. that times are changing yes. and they want to appeal to um, that younger group of yes. children who are growing up in the internet age. So That's true mm -hmm. and they want not so much to be known as a beautiful girl in a swimsuit right. but to be fit and, and healthy and uh, also to be want to be involved in their community. Exactly. So it's not a platform. Used to be, girls had to have a platform, something, a cause they supported and worked toward. Correct. Something they believed in. So what is it now? So now it's called a social impact statement. Okay. And the question that I have received most from the young women who are interested in, in mm -hmm. being candidates yes. um, is what is that? How do I get one? So I kind of succinctly said, number one, what are you passionate about? Right. Number mm -hmm. two, why are you passionate about that? And number three, what are you going to do or what are you doing to mm -hmm. further that cause? So it's really just those three questions, um, know how you feel about it, and um, mm -hmm. that is what the on-stage question will be related to. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It is. So. That it's not news related. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> yes, okay. So. so I know there's still an on-stage question. Correct. Is there evening gown? Evening gown, yes, absolutely. Okay. No swimsuit. No swimsuit. <laughs> but what, what is there? Um, so we have the interview. Uh, that is the first uh, part of the competition that right. they have is a 10-minute interview in front of the judges. Right. Not in front of the Not in audience. front of the audience, just, correct. That yeah. is earlier in the day. Okay. Um, closed door, just just yeah. the candidate <laughs> and the judges. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. um, so that is actually, they changed the percentages on the judging. Oh, okay. So um, the interview is now 25% of the okay. overall score. That's great. Um, then you have the evening gown, which is the beautiful ball gowns or yeah. what, whatever evening gown or evening wear that um, the candidate chooses. So it's their personality. Exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. And that is now 20%. Okay. The onstage question is 15%. Okay. And then... Um, talent. Talent. Yeah. So talent is 40%. Okay. Another question that especially Kim gets a lot is, I don't have a talent, what can I do? Right. Everybody has a talent. Yes. We even had uh, one candidate, one year was very good at decorating cakes so you oh. have 90 seconds and you can show your talent and she decorated a cake on stage <laughs> how fun so how fun. Yeah, yeah I've seen of course voice and dance um, music violin mm -hmm. flute mm -hmm. um, trumpet trumpet yes mm -hmm. um, I saw a, a martial arts demonstration right. one time, major uh, baton and Maybe. painting. Oh, painting. Oh, that uh -huh. was very mm -hmm. interesting. I right. mean, if you can paint something in 90 seconds, right. you've got some real talent, I <laughs> That's think. That's right. And that even a monologue, great. if you're in drama class yes, or, yes. or that sort of thing, you can do a monologue. So. Well, that is interesting. So that's what they need. They mm -hmm. can go to the website. I know uh, the deadline, you have extended the deadline. We, we did, actually. Yes. We are doing our very best to relaunch the Miss Silicaga yes. competition with these new 
judging percentages yeah. and taking the swimsuit out and everything is changing so much. Yes. Um, we have a new website, so you can go to the website and um, sign up there. We're going to extend that until Friday okay. uh, just to because of this yeah. and we are trying to educate um, yes. all the young women in the wow. area. Um, we're we're hoping to get a few more candidates. We have yeah. we have enough right now, but we would really like to extend that and get more uh, participation. We have a lot yeah. of participation actually in the team. Oh, great! So. That's what I was going to say. It's for the Miss Teen. Mm -hmm. What are the age requirements for Miss Teen? For Miss Teen, um, ages 13 to 17. Okay. And then for the Miss Division, it is 18 to 24. 18 to 24. Mm -hmm. 13 to 17 seems like a wide range, but uh, I've seen young girls at 13. Mm -hmm. come Pete and what confidence they have. It's incredible. Oh, it's great. It's, it's a different world that we live in now mm -hmm. and the, the preteens and teens that are today are very different than yes. I was. I have a 13 year old daughter uh -huh. um, and she is in many ways much more confident and um, knowledgeable about some things right, yes. um, than I was and they have more opportunities these days. They do. So. They do. Mm -hmm. And what a great way to channel all of that right. into something mm -hmm. like this. Exactly. Um, now, unless we talked about the requirements, um, they can enter up to Friday, you said yes. online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do, do they have to live in Sylacauga? In Sylacauga, and Kim Todd, the the executive di yeah. director, knows more about those specifics. Right, they are right. going to be on the website, mm -hmm. so you can check that out. But my right. understanding is, it's uh, Sylacauga, um, and if if you were to have a home telephone number, it would have to have a Sylacauga prefix. Right, a two five six, a two zero five, mm -hmm. two zero seven, two zero eight. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> right, and a zip zip code three five one five zero. Um, that I'm not sure about. I okay. just I know that. The landline right. phone, that is right. the main determiner. Right. Okay. Main determiner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And it doesn't matter if you're in college somewhere, if you're in high school. Um, I know they're very understanding of you coming back right. for events. Exactly. Things. If your home of record is in, mm -hmm. meets those requirements, it doesn't matter if you're at the University of Miami, you can come right. compete in right. Miss Lacaga. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm very excited. I know uh, even before my children were born, uh, we all went to the Miss Lacaga pageant. It was mm -hmm. a community event. Right. You knew who your Miss Lacaga was, and 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 you knew several Miss Lacagas because they lived here and exactly. were still a active in town. So, I'm so glad y'all are bringing this back. Yes, I and know. many of the Miss Lacagas mm -hmm. from um, years past, from yeah. my days, back in my day, uh -huh. <laughs> and even earlier. They're all um, helping. They're helping oh, us bring great. it back in different ways, even if it's just by giving their alma mater university a phone right. call and saying, hey, this yeah. organization has meant so much to mm -hmm. me and I love my university mm -hmm. and I want my university to, to support my hometown. Um, I did that and I obtained a great scholarship for Wonderful. even the participants. The, um, the young women who participate mm -hmm. in Miss Lokaga, as long as they have a 27 on their ACT right. and a 3.5 GPA, they get half tuition for four years at the University of Mobile. My goodness. I know, it's incredible. Just from a phone call. From a phone call and an email That's to people I did not know. Because <laughs> um, I have been gone from the University of Mobile for quite so some time. <laughs> oh, well, that is great. Well, I appreciate what you're doing for it and what other people can do. That's great. Those scholarships mm -hmm. are excellent. Uh, Absolutely. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna pause for another commercial break and we'll come right back. Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Ox Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Ox Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Ox Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. 
Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell. I'm talking with Jennifer Edwards, who is a hometown girl who's come back to help with the Miss Silicaga competition. And mm -hmm. we've been talking about that. I am very excited because I know a lot of people, Maxie Vesey, um, Jim Armstrong, Jane Vaughn, and I won't even name any more because there's so, so uh, such a huge <laughs> list of people yes. who have worked so hard mm -hmm. to make this pageant, um, to make this pageant happen over the years. And Maxie Vesey was director for over 40 years. Correct, correct. correct. And one of the main scholarships that we provide mm -hmm. is called the Maxi VZ Scholarship. So many, many um, uh, people from the community, not only people, individuals, right. but also um, businesses will contribute mm -hmm. to that in any amount from $10 to $500. Um, and it all goes in one pot and that is yes. one of the scholarships that's given out at the at the competition. And that is wonderful. I guess if it's the same way, every girl that participates in the Miss, the Miss Silicaga division, Correct get some money for scholarship. Exactly right. And that is that goes directly, you just send them a note, it goes directly to the school. That's towards right. Towards tuition. So that is wonderful. Right. That that alone is worth doing. Absolutely. <laughs> but all the other things you learned. I was very impressed by what you were saying and what you learned from the interviews and, mm -hmm. and still carry this on today. Right. Yeah. And I when I met with some of the mm -hmm. young women around Silicago right. one of the other times that Kim and I came down. Yeah. Um, I was telling them about my professional life and mm -hmm. the homes that I sell are to uh, corporate leaders and oh, executives. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just two days ago, I was um, showing the CEO of Toyota. Oh my goodness. So wow. I, I would not have the confidence <clears throat> and the poise to mm -hmm. speak um, intelligently and confidently. <sighs> to those kind of leaders mm -hmm. if I had not been through this. Now, my mama did a great job. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. But there's nothing like practice. Exactly. Just doing it. Just yeah. do it. And, and you get in front of the people who are important right. or who you see as important, and mm -hmm. you can learn those skills right. just by repetition. So. And those judges are not there to get you. They're there to help <laughs> exactly. you. Exactly. Job interviews, mm -hmm. uh, scholarship interviews, mm -hmm. all of that. Exactly. Kind of and you know, something that was very interesting to me mm -hmm. that I um, still remember, uh -huh. uh, at one of the, I did a pageant down in Mobile when I, when I was at University yeah. of Mobile um, called Miss Springdale. And there was a judge there, and I, I forgive me, I do not remember her name. Uh -huh. But then when I competed a couple of years later at the Miss University of Mobile, wow. she was one of the judges. And she remembered me. And she asked me questions about oh. what had happened between the Miss Springdale oh. and the Miss University of Mobile. She remembered about the significance of a ring that I wore. Oh, my goodness. So they, and she was so... Yes excited to hear what I had to say about it. Oh. So that's more than being a judge. That is. They, they are very caring, caring people. They, they're Gosh. volunteers too, you know. Yeah, so. they, oh, that's true. They are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no money in this that's for right. you, but, <laughs> but right. the joy you get of helping <laughs> other people. Uh, now, um, I know you're selling tickets online. Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, how much are tickets to the $5? Five dollars. Um, up front, at the door, mm -hmm. there'll be 10 okay. But now we do have a special ticket that uh -huh. they can get online. We are doing a special <clears throat> VIP ticket uh, to have a meet and greet with Miss Alabama. Oh. Tiara Pennington. Oh, oh my goodness, she is mm -hmm. beautiful. I, I saw her compete in the Miss Teen, mm -hmm. and I, I want to go to hear her sing. I know <laughs> she I has know. a beautiful voice. Yes, and it's and a beautiful such a girl. such a beautiful girl inside <clears throat> and out. So we're excited mm -hmm. to let some of the community come in and really have <coughs> have a few minutes with her to ask her questions, get an autograph. Right. Um, back in my day, I, I remember autographs. I would have little girls who didn't know who I was just mm -hmm. as a participant coming up and right. wanting my, my autograph. Oh, so, how fun. Um, so that's yeah. something that your daughters will not forget. Yes, so. yes. Mm -hmm. They will get to go meet her. Meet Miss Alabama. <laughs> oh, and she'll be dressed beautifully with the crown. That's I know right. to a little girl, they love to see that <laughs> That's crown. right, exactly. Uh, and that is before the pageant. It is. It <clears throat> absolutely is. Okay. So, um, and I don't believe that we have a, a maximum number yet. Okay. Um, but if we see that we need to, we'll put that on the website. Right. 
That so. is great that that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens the day of the pageant? The girls come for that one day. There used to be the, the rehearsal the day before, right. things like that, but I know. Right, so um, Kim has made the decision to have it all in one day, so That's it's great. not as much on the families, especially because it is right before the Thanksgiving yes, yes. holidays. Mm -hmm. um, so that morning they'll come in. Um, I believe first they'll do their interviews. Right. Um, I may be incorrect on that, well, but Kim, yeah. Kim is doing that. That's right, yeah. um, so the interviews, and then we'll do rehearsals. There will be a little step touch step touch kind yes. of production <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> opening number exactly, things like that exactly yeah. and this year the theme is patriotic so oh, fun. um fun. so we'll practice that uh -huh. um we'll have them show us their um run through their talent right. show us their evening gowns that sort of thing and then at seven o'clock that evening is showtime that is great because a lot of these girls are i mean the holidays are coming mm -hmm. up they're in college it's difficult to get here maybe on exactly. a Friday or whatever. So they come Saturday morning, mm -hmm. the whole day, and they have a good time too. They they're, absolutely People do. provide food and there's time yes. to, to talk and, and uh, get, get to know each other. I know Mary Kelly, you know, got to know several of the other girls competing right. from around the country, right. I mean, from around the state. Right. And uh, just enjoyed being with them, making exactly. new friends. And, and that's, you know, when, when Kim and I and um, all of the other Right. Now women. <laughs> yeah. We're not young <laughs> women anymore. Um, when we were doing it, that it was the fun thing to do. You go and you goof around. Yes, you're working on um, this competition, but you have a blast together. Some of yeah. my best friends um, and I competed together Aww. back in my day. And that's why I thought of Trumpet, because one of my best friends, April um, Cox, April yeah. Cox Die. now, uh -huh. she did the trumpet. Oh, so, wow. um, so, yeah, so it was best friends are competing together. Oh, how fun. How exactly. fun. That is great. And please encourage if you know any girls this age to go to the website uh, and and um, sign up to compete. It is a wonderful, it is a wonderful chance to earn some scholarship money, make friends, and to learn how to how to walk, how to talk, the poise, all of that. Exactly. Um, exactly. I have a funny little thing. Not too long okay. ago I was walking at the outdoor mall yeah. in um, in Huntsville and I had this random stranger come up and tell me that I had great posture. <laughs> oh, so I thought, you know, well thank you Miss Lilacaga. <laughs> yeah, people notice they that. Do. They, they, they do. They do. Like so, that. well, well thank you and thank Absolutely. Kim thank you for so having much me. for what y'all are doing for this pageant and um, I'm, I'm so glad to see it come back, not yes. because my daughter was in it, but just because it's part of Silicaga and this is my It home. is part of the legacy. You know, I was reading that um, the USA Today said, how'd they say it? They said, the Miss America organization is one of the top 10 pieces of true Americana remaining. Oh, so that's true. we want to keep that legacy. Yeah. With the changes made to exactly. uh, that girls are, 2 .0. are smart <laughs> and healthy and want to make a difference and in this world. very capable of doing it. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, and we'll tell Kim we missed her. And thank you so much for joining me on Library Connection.